back to the Transfer Talks podcast. My name is Megan Greenspan, and I am a Transfer Jacks peer mentor. Joining me today is our lovely fellow Transfer Jacks mentor, Sasha. Hi, I'm <laughs> Sasha. Um, yeah, like you said, I'm a Transfer Jacks peer mentor. Uh, about, I'm a Parks and Recreation Management major, and I'm a junior. Sure. That's a little bit about me. Yeah. Parks and Recreation Management major? Yes. Nice. What do you like about I love everything. Honestly, (laughs) I think my favorite part, well, like so far, um, is definitely the faculty. I just love Mm -hmm. the Parks and Recreation professors. They're really great and very hands-on. So I would give a shout out to them. (laughs) As you should. As you should. Um, What about Park? What made you want to go into Parks and Rec? Um, Well, I don't know if you know this, but I I used to be a nursing major. I did not know that. (laughs) Um, I was a nursing major for a full year at my last school, and, you know, very insightful, ultimately, not for me. Fair. <laughs> um, so I took a semester off, um, kicked it with my parents, and then I had a friend who kind of, like, did the same thing as me, started out at her school, went home, and then she transferred to NAU, and she told me to come tour it, and so I toured it, and then I found about I found out about the Parks and Recreation Management major, and I was like, that sounds great to me, That's sounds awesome. like it aligned with my... <laughs> I don't know, interests. I love being outdoors. So, yeah. No, oh, I, I see that for you. I love that. I love awesome. that. Um, so since coming to NAU, mm-hmm. what's kind of like, how do you feel about the vibes of campus? Like, what do you think of the environment at NAU? I love campus, <laughs> honestly. Um, I don't know. People are just very friendly and welcoming, I would say, especially the transfer program. The transfer program. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but I would say one thing that comes to mind about campus that I love is the walkability. I love the walkability. Mm-hmm. I love to just, like, pop my headphones on and cruise it to South Campus, where most of my classes are. But, right. yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. And then it's also really pretty in the snow. So right. That's another thing I love about it. And probably with your program, too, having, like, the yeah. trees in the forest so around us is, pretty. like, <laughs> does you do a lot more hands-on learning with that, or do you say it's more of a... It's... Well, I would say there's, like, a little bit of a misconception about parks and recreation management, and people think it's, like, oh, you're just outdoors. I would say that's more forestry. That's more the forestry major, because mine is management. But um, it's more, like, program planning, and so I've got to create, like, a lot of um, hypothetical recreation programs and stuff like that, which I think is really fun, so. Yeah, Yeah. I had no idea, so thank you for clearing that up. Of course. Um, You're the debunk. Yeah, perfect. I'm here for it, honestly. (laughs) So we kind of talked about what made you choose NAU mm-hmm. and transferring to NAU. Yeah. Um, did you feel, like, uncomfortable, like, tr- transferring? Like, was it very, like... It was definitely nerve-wracking, yeah. for sure. I, I'm an out-of-state student, so I'm from Washington originally, oh. so pretty far away. <laughs> and um, all my siblings are in-state for college, so mm-hmm. I was the first one to, like, go away. Leave the nest. Um, for sure. <laughs> so it was definitely nerve-wracking, but... Mm-hmm. Um, I had a friend here already, so who had been here for a semester, oh, so it was that like made a little it bit easier. Yeah, definitely it showed me the ropes a little bit. Oh, good. Yeah, and then also the transfer program, <laughs> and then, then my peer mentor like reaching out to me, starting that line of communication was great. So. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. Um, what's an interesting or unique fact that you've learned about Flagstaff or NAU since transferring? Okay, I have. I prepped for this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, Pluto, formerly known as the planet Pluto, was discovered at Lowell Observatory. Formerly known. In, in 1930, and I didn't know that. Shout out to, what's her name, Lisa Chen, and intro to indigenous astronomy, because that's where I learned that fact. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's a pretty cool fact. That's a pretty fun fact. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't know that either until, like, I was well-adjusted yeah. into transferring. I'm like, so cool. Oh, <laughs> Love Pluto. I know, right? Like, I'm so sad about Pluto. Right? Who really deserves more credit? It doesn't deserve to be a planet. I don't know. Is it just because it's too small? To Apparently. Be a Allegedly. Lame. Right. <laughs> we should, like, start a petition. We really should. Like, I, I'm i sure there's some. Yeah. Make Pluto a planet again. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'll yeah. sign it. Okay. I'll sign it. <laughs> I'll sign it. <laughs> and to anybody who's watching this, if you want to sign our yeah, petition. I'll start it. We have one. <laughs> and then you students for Pluto. <laughs> Here, here's a question. Yes, ready. <laughs> here's a question, and you've kind of already done it, but if you could give a shout out to someone on campus who's played a role in your personal or academic avel- development since transferring, who would it be and why? Oh, that's hard because there's so <laughs> many people I'd like to shout out. I mean, okay, not a plug, but <laughs> I'm going to shout out the transfer program. Right. Transfer talks. I don't know. I think 
um, I knew my one friend, but she had her own stuff going on when I first got here, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like, you know, doing my own thing and um, having someone reach out to me mm -hmm. and like start that line of communication. And then when we started meeting, it was just like another friend that I made. Mm -hmm. Um, and she made me feel a lot less confused about certain things, like the bus line. Right. <laughs> like, I don't know, things that I just, obviously, you know when you go here, but when mm -hmm. you're first starting out, you're like, I don't know what this, this is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would, I'll shout out Transfer Jacks. Um, I'll shout out Parks and Recreation <laughs> Management Department. I don't know, As you should. They're really great. I don't know. They're just very... Um, did you say helpful. like full professors, like, advisors? Yeah, professors, like, everybody advisors. Kind of... Everyone is very, like, I don't know, um, very wants you to succeed, I guess. Oh, and of course, like, every professor wants you to succeed, but sometimes it maybe doesn't feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the Parks and Recreation professors, like, definitely make it a point to be like, no, we like want you to succeed. We want to help you out. Do you have any questions? Awesome. They're just very personable people. So, oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Those are my two shout outs. Two shout outs? Yeah. Oh, actually, I do. I'll <laughs> shout out. I was, gonna, I was waiting for it. <laughs> all the departments. I'll shout out um, the Lumberjack Care Center and the care mm. team. I uh, love them over there. They're super knowledgeable and friendly. But also, um, I'll shout out the bi weekly food distributions and dog days. Because when I first the got here, days. those were like mm -hmm. two things. Like, that's all I need dogs and like free food. Right. So, um, yeah, shout out to them. That was great. I also didn't have a car freshman year. So, I, like, didn't want to, like, go off campus to get food or something. So they just, just made it more accessible. Yeah, and totally. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, those are two things you need in life. Petting dogs and food. Absolutely. So, like, I don't need anything else. No, absolutely. I could live happy just with that. Same. <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience like at your pre-rate school? And then how did that impact your transferring to NAU? Yeah, okay. So, I went to the University of Portland. Mm -hmm. um, not from Oregon, so that was new. <laughs> and um, I guess... I don't know. My experience was, like, clearly different, but uh, it was a lot harder, I would say, just because of my major. It was really difficult for me, but also, I went, it was a 4,000-person school. It was a private school, so, and I went specifically for the nursing program, oh. so a little different, and, yeah, my attitude was a little different. I was just stressed all the time, mm -hmm. and, like, yeah, doing work nonstop, and there wasn't much, I don't know, campus community I guess like there wasn't a lot of campus events happening right. or stuff that I could go to and like make friends um unless you joined like clubs mm -hmm. so I would say that was a little different and then here coming here there's so many campus events happening all the time um and it's just like really fun to get to enjoy um but yeah I guess it was also the transfer program my last school didn't have like a transfer program oh yes yeah, so. yeah I was gonna say like transfer program right? yeah so I would definitely say the transfer program here like stands out for me because it's yeah. very cool that they have that so yeah yeah I remembered a question that I wanted to ask previously Perfect. about like your transfer experience but yeah. when you were a, men a mentee mm -hmm. what was your favorite activity that you went to honestly well I went <laughs> to the welcome I don't remember what it was called because it's changed so many times right. <laughs> like it's now like the welcome mixer welcome right. picnic um I think it was a outdoor like picnic style thing um mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun at that just because my mentor was there so I said hey and like introduced ourselves and um yeah I met some cool people but yeah the, the picnic <laughs> yeah, the picnic was yeah but also um I'm trying to remember this was like a few semesters ago so <laughs> you got it <laughs> um yeah I guess also just like the lounge I came to the lounge a lot and just mm -hmm. chilled and did work and stuff so fair yeah fair yeah I mean something about like the picnic and stuff I think the free food really oh for sure free <laughs> food, people on drink, that yeah like, yeah heaps of people as you that. mentioned earlier too we didn't have dogs but we did have yeah. the food yeah, maybe we should add that <laughs> we should we can partner with the care center that's actually not a, write that down <laughs> yeah <laughs> so as we've mentioned before you're a mentor here mm -hmm. at Transfer Jacks. So how has that kind of been um, affected your experience as a transfer student? And like, what are your kind of pro, what do you like ways? about it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. There's so many things. I would say the first thing is I get to meet a lot of great people, you guys included. Um, <laughs> mentors, yeah, my coworkers are awesome. We try. Um, but also <laughs> just like meeting with students, like all different types of students different backgrounds different mm -hmm. majors like I'm learning a lot more about different colleges which is cool um I guess yeah it's definitely informed my knowledge of campus departments mm -hmm. more at being a mentor um 
learning about all the different like resources we have available definitely has helped me as a student too mm-hmm. like academic success center like free tutoring right yeah <laughs> um yeah I guess the big thing though is I just like the people who I work with they're all great and I get to meet and just chat with people like that's right. my that's the job you just right. get to chat with students and help them if needed which just makes me really happy mm-hmm. so, yeah yeah. Do you think like this is like a good like job that kind of like sets you up for the future? Absolutely. And, like, having those communi- those connections with other people. Absolutely. It teaches you it teaches you to like definitely be more personable, I would right. say if you're not already comfortable like talking to people, it definitely gets you like out of your comfort zone. Um so yeah, I would say yeah. it's it's a great job. It's definitely <laughs> like it's definitely very helpful as a student worker. It's just like right. it's very applicable to all the things that you know, you're doing as a student, also as a mentor. Mm -hmm. It's just very, goes together very well. Right. I I agree. (laughs) I mean, as someone who wants to go into psychology, like meeting with the people is just like, totally. It's like, yeah, I'm going to be doing this in the future. So, but no, I get that. And like professional stuff, like writing emails, right? stuff like that helps prepare you for, right. You know, and it's like jobs. a perfect little gateway too, because you still have that level of professionalism, but yeah. you have like you still you're have student. to have fun with it. Yeah, and... you're a student still, so like, yeah, yeah. I love it. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Um, love my job. Do you have any advice for any like men- mentees now who are thinking about like applying as a mentor or wanting hmm. to become? I would say just apply. <laughs> just apply. <laughs> I would say use our lounge. You know, like. Talk to the front desk person. <laughs> we do like to be talked to. Yeah, the front desk is boring when you're just sitting there. I mean, it's not boring, but yeah. I don't know. It's more fun when you get to chat with people. So I would say, I don't know, come into the lounge, come chat with us, come to events, and then, you know, mingle, and then apply. Right. <laughs> and then, yeah, you have an in already, I would say. Oh, absolutely. Or also meet with your mentor before you apply. I would that, say shout out. Yes, yeah, shout out, mentors. Yeah, anyone who's applying should meet with their mentor. Because, like, mm-hmm. why not? They went through the process, so it's like, they're you know, the insiders. Like, right? They know the scoop. Yeah, they can give you like some tips and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess at the end of this. Beautiful. Um, um, but thank you so much for joining us today. Of course. Um, is there anything you would like to say to like <laughs> people who like want to transfer to NAU or even just like your mentees just kind of um, to wrap it all up? Love my mentees <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> You guys rock. Uh, meet with me, make, make appointments. <laughs> um, but I guess, I don't know, NAU is awesome and it's so beautiful here. And the faculty is really great and the departments we have are great and the transfer program is great. <laughs> it makes it so much easier to transfer. So definitely transfer here. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. But yeah. thanks so much for having me. Of course, yeah. So Anytime. Yeah, but once again, uh, this was Transfer Talks and we appreciate you, Sasha, for taking the time. And we hope to check in with y'all soon. Sick. (laughs) Woo!